Good morning, CIS 279 W7 students. I wanted to quickly introduce you to the virtual environment that I've created. So let's take a look. What we have is you will have two Windows Vista clients. Now we're using Pro. So anywhere that it calls for you to say Windows 7 ENT Enterprise Edition, you're going to type Windows 7 Pro, and I'll remind you of this in class. Basically what I've had to create is a domain controller with a bunch of features. Uh, you know, First of all, it's the Active Directory domain. It does DHCP. It's going to be DNS, etc. We have to make sure that we never put this live onto the COCC network. And, and uh, so as you can see, these are the virtual machine settings. And in class, of course, we'll talk more about virtual machine. But the big thing we want to make sure we never change right here is this network adapter. So if I go into settings and networking, you can see it says internal network. Now what this means is that only machines, as, as you can read down below, use internal network to communicate with only other virtual machines on this computer. So these are not going to be able to get out to the web, therefore they're not going to be on the local network and we don't have to worry about accidentally putting a DHCP server on COCC's network or on your network at home. That could create some big problems as you know. So uh, I've confirmed that there. I'm going to go into the tools for the Windows Vista client, go to settings, I'll show you that again networking adapters etc now one thing that I have had to do and I haven't had time to research why is DHCP on the domain controller does not seem to issue an IP address I know that I remember an issue with this years ago so what I've done is just gone into the client here I'm gonna get rid of the uh, welcome center here I've gone into the client and manually in the network adapter applied an IP address so a static IP address that way I can do everything so this is the environment uh, that we will be using I of course will be doing the labs and creating any sort of documentation that we need uh, or doing demonstration videos for labs that you're going to be unable to uh, complete within this environment so that's just a quick uh, introduction to this and I will talk to you soon